Welcome to today's 3D print. I got myself a new camera. I have the Osmo Pocket. And I found out how to do something interesting with my 3D printers to help me make it easier to use this. Stay tuned as we dig into this. So, I have the DJI Osmo Pocket. It's a wonderful little gimbalized camera. So it has a gimbal. And no matter where I tilt it, I have to give it something to follow. I think that worked. But if I turn the gimbal, it helps stabilize the video. See? So the gimbal takes out all those shakes. Now, it has a touch screen and it has a screen, but it has limited functionality on that screen. I mean, obviously, it's a little one and a half inch screen right here, and um, you can do a decent amount with it, but to really get access to all the features, you got to connect it to something else. So they have these little dongles that plug into the device like this. That's a USB C one. It also comes with a lightning connector, and if you use the OTG, you can connect a micro USB as well. You get a, a phone. You know, a device that's compatible. It doesn't work with my LG, so I ended up getting this Moto Z2 off eBay for like 80 bucks. And you plug it in. And it plugs right into the side of the phone. Now, when you turn the device on and it is connected to the phone, it brings up the Mimo app. And you can actually get a live view of what is on the camera on your phone screen, which has a much bigger screen and gives you much better control. So there we go. Now we have a live view through the screen on the phone, but using the camera in the DJI Osmo. Now this has some pretty serious problems. Um, first of all, it's a pain in the ass to hold. I mean, this is a little bit fugly to try to hold this little combo unit. On top of that, the most precious thing on a phone, second only to the screen, is that charging port because if you damage that charging port, you're done. <laughs> and now you're dangling a, I mean, the, for what it is, it's lightweight, but for where it's connected, a pretty dense piece of equipment off the side of your phone. Not nah, such a great idea. Now I've seen mounts where the Osmo has got a little sleeve around it and then there's a little clamp to hold onto the phone, but I thought, can I do something a little bit better than that? <laughs> and so I came up with my own little widget make this a whole lot easier. I started designing and designing and designing before I finally came out with the finished model. Um, I started off getting the basic shapes down, refining it, changing it, adding a hand grip to make it easier to hang on to. Actually, I think this one was first. Yep, this one was first. I found out I had a problem where your finger if you tilted back because of the gimbal, the gimbal could see your finger in the top of the case. So I added a little 45 cutout there. So now your finger is down lower. You're kind of forced to keep it down here more, one finger underneath. And that keeps your finger out of the way until you get past 45 degrees. But the final version, after all these revisions, I came up with is two pieces that prints without support and only requires um, two M420 bolts. So the reason it's two pieces is you got this half, and then you have this extra piece on top here. That's because this piece has a curve inside of it to hold the phone, which means that will require support. But if I make this a separate piece and flip it over, it doesn't require support. So you print two pieces, no support required because that's a lot of support. And um, <coughs> now you don't need support at all. You just use it. So the way it works, the Osmo fits in here. And then after installing the Osmo in here, you install the little adapter. Now you might be thinking, why not make it so you can slide the Osmo in with the adapter? Well, because now it's captured. Now I don't have to worry about dropping my expensive Osmo. It ain't going anywhere because it's captured by the port. And then you take your phone and stick it on the other end. And it jacks into the Osmo right there. Now this actually prints with this intact and you just snip it off. So think of it as built-in support. And now I have one single piece of hardware that's connected to the camera right there. And I can hold this comfortably. So I can put a hand here 
I can put my hand here, and now it's like an actual camera. It's something I can get a hold of, something I can hang on to, to do my shooting when I'm shooting my rockets. Okay. Very, very handy. And now the, uh, let me turn it off of um, tilt lock. There we go. So now as you can see, the gimbal will always look straight ahead at what I'm shooting at. And then I can also lock that gimbal, which will allow me to follow my rockets going up into the air. But if we're on the ground, this is great. I also have a port down here, which I'm going to, I have to resize it still, but it accepts a um, insert that'll give you a tripod mount. So now you have a tripod mount, you have something that's easy to hold on to, you can actually put your hands around this and have a good grip on it. You can one hand this two piece combo, no problem, you can put it over a fence or above your head or something like that without worrying about it. And because of the gimbal, here's something that's neat, I can tilt this thing at 45 degrees back, but the camera is still pointed forward so now I can put this thing above my head and I can still see this screen while the gimbal is looking straight ahead it's some pretty neat stuff this will also let you get down low like this As you can see the gimbal still pointing straight ahead but the screen's facing up so now if I'm going to do a low down shot like you're shooting your pet or something like that or your kid crawling on the ground this is great and you still have your left right gimbal to stabilize your video and now you're looking down comfortably instead of trying to do this to shoot something down low you can just sit up here like this and just do this and now you're still shooting straight out but from inches off the ground it's pretty neat it's a pretty powerful little combo and so for this 3d printed widget now you don't have to worry about damaging your phone or your osmo with this connection if they get bumped and you have an easy way of hanging on to this it's pretty cool this is just this is something you can do with 3d printing and i did this whole entire thing in Tinkercad. And I even have multiple models set up so I can go back in and edit this. So all I have to do is click ungroup and I have a, a cutout tool that I made that represents the camera. I have a cutout tool that I made that represents the phone including the a little opening up here so the buttons don't get pushed when you slide it in and including an opening down here so you can charge and the other cool thing is when you plug in the camera to charge as long as the camera is charging, it passes through a charge to the phone, so it charges both at the same time. That's why I'm putting the tripod mount here, so that I could have both tripod mount and plug it in with the battery pack, keep things charged while you're on the go. That's pretty darn cool. And when you don't need this combo, you just slide the phone out, slide your adapter out, and you can take your Osmo Pocket out. This turns around into a storage position, and now you have your little Osmo that you can use without any phone attached to it. You just toss this in your camera bag with your phone. That's pretty darn cool. So that's available on Thingiverse. I'll link it down below, so if you happen to have one of these, even if you don't want this because it's only good for the Moto Z2 Force, which by the way is an excellent phone to go with this combo because it's um, cheap <laughs> and yet it's got 64 gigs of memory a beautiful screen it's actually got fantastic cameras so that gave me an idea I'm going to design a case like this but without the Osmo just for the phone to make it easier to hold the phone and use it as an actual camera because phones can be a little pain in the butt you're, you're, you're kind of holding it like this or you're trying to pinch it like this you're you're doing like this it's it, they're hard to hang on to so if you had a case just for the phone then you wouldn't have to have such a hard time hanging on to the thing you can just have a normal solid grip on your device so there will be a future video where I design a case just for the phone and I'll make files available for that as well so you can design one for your phone that's it you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next video.